Hi, if you can play bar chords, there's no reason why you can't be playing the 2-5-1 jazz progression. This little combination of three chords is what you, we use when we're playing jazz and standards. And I'm going to show you a very useful position for it here on your guitar. Uh, it's three chords that start with this first one I was playing. Go into this one. Down here. I'll make it a little bit closer and explain what I'm doing. Um, the first chord, I'm going to start up on the third fret. We can start it anywhere, but I'm going to use fret three as an example. I'm not going to play this string or this string. So I'm just going to play here, here, and here. And they get this sound. Some guitar players like to make it like this. So at any rate, we're still not playing this one. This one gets muted. And here it doesn't get played either. And that's what we call a two chord. Now we go to a five chord by going to this arrangement here. I'm not playing this string or this string, just these four right here. So that's the five chord we call it. So the first one looks like this. The second one looks like this. These two fingers you'll notice remain the same on both that if you make it uh, in the fashion I made it. Just these top two strings, two fingers rotate here. So that's a two five combination. The one chord goes down two frets from wherever we started. Back up two frets to here. And now I'm not going to play this string or this string, only these four right here to get this sound. That's the one chord. So we go two, five, one. Now I can do this anywhere on the guitar. I'll take it up to fret four here just for example. Here was fret three, I'll take it up to fret four. Here's the two chord the five. If we play just these two chords, it's called two five. We put the one on it by going down two frets. There we go for the one chord. And so on. I can go to fret five and do the same thing. Two chord, five chord, fret four, two chord, five chord, and so on. So you can make these combinations anywhere on the guitar neck and just start playing around with them and get the sound in your ear of this classic progression, 2, 5, and 1, without even thinking about what the names are. Worry about the names later. Right now, just get your fingers used to these shapes and the sound that they make. 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 1. And you'll start to recognize that sound when you listen to jazz songs. These chords are found in various parts of jazz and standard songs. Let me give you one here for a good example. An old Cole Porter song. I'm going to start on the third fret and make our two chord like I was uh, just demonstrating. And uh, it's going to go. And I've got you under my skin. Yes, I've got you deep in the heart of me. It's just two, five, and one. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. Yes, I've got you under my skin. And I've tried so not to give in. And then it goes to some other chords, but you get the idea there. You get to use this 251 extensively in the first part of that song. Uh, let me show you something else. Here I'll go to another old standard. I'm going to start up on fret 7 and just give it a first just the 2 and the 5. Then I'll go up to fret 9 and give it the 2 and the 5 and it sounds like this. So I'm up here I'm way up on fret 7 and uh, using the same chords. Cigarette holder, a witch awakes me up here. Over my shoulder, she digs me out cat and with then it goes somewhere else but you get the idea with uh, the way the chords are put together they're moving up the neck I'll do it again for you a cigarette holder a witch wigs me over my shoulder a sheet digs me hide cat and with then we got another chord that it goes to so once you get your hands on this little progression and these hand shapes you can just move them around the neck mess around with them get in your ear and uh, enjoy the sound of them um, start to listen to songs and you'll recognize you go, hey, that's a 2-5 or that's a 2-5-1. Um, they're used in little pieces of the songs, uh, not throughout the entire songs, but a little piece of it's up here, a little piece of it's down here. 
and uh, it's just the backbone of jazz. It's just that sound. Here's how it looks in the book. It's a little more detailed description and sometimes it can be easier to understand when you see things written down. And here's some photos of the hands. You can see uh, the two, the five, and the one chord there as they uh, are written with the nice big photographs of the hand. Here's the book that explains it all, A Rock Guitarist Gateway to Jazz, Play Jazz with Just Six Chords. It goes through that progression and some other very hip progressions as well. You can get it as an ebook for $11 sent right to your computer. Go to this website to order it as an ebook, jazzyukulele.com.